Yo me llamo Metello, soy de la cofradía de navegantes anarquistas. Quería presentaros eh, a Grey y Nova. Han elegido el, el más poético de todos los, los medios de transporte y el, y el menos nocivo, o sea, un barco de vela, para llevar a cabo su mensaje y llevar su discurso sobre el cambio climático a las poblaciones más remotas y más afectadas por este tipo de... Uh, the problematic. It, it combined two different ideas that both of us had. Mm -hmm. uh, one was, for my part, a long time desire to bring arts onto the sea and to avoid traveling using fossil fuels mm -hmm. by flying and using the infrastructure of the built environment of the world. Um, and Nova had her own reasons for wanting to do something like this. Yeah, on my part, I want to bring back the sailing culture actually because it's also ties into the idea of how to <coughs> to um, to be resistant so to be resilient in climate change because we know that in I don't know how many years but not if not too far from now we're going to uh, finish the fossil fuel and have to know how to sail again so that's that's from my part. Tras 30.000 millas navegadas en un improbable viaje desde Holanda hasta Indonesia, que se dice rápido, y, y en plena pandemia, además, pues han conseguido hacer algo que, que, que es realmente impresionante. O sea, han vuelto a demostrar que realmente con, un, con voluntad y, y creéndoselo, pues... Puedes realizar cual, cualquier sueño. time we are about to set sail. I sing that song before we perform and I sing that song tonight as well so that we can be protected from all of the negative energy. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Nova and this is Gray and we are going to tell you the story about Arka Kinari. Every day I, I find a new motivation, yeah? um, especially when we met people in different spots. So for me, it's every, every voyage has its, its own motivation uh, as well. So that's why we are staying and be resilient as well to, to, to do this, this project. So we made Arca Kinari, which is a performance that we perform it on the deck of a sailing ship. And We use live music to sound the alarm of a climate change and also cinematic visuals to imagine the life after fossil fuel. Hey, 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 hey. We are trying to design the the performance uh, to be able to be accepted in many cultures and also many different ages as well. So so far, even though we came to spots that has different cultures and different language, it's always working. And also we use a lot of visuals as well to explain what we want to what we want to say or what's the story behind it. And so far, it has been working. Yeah, the only times we can say it really didn't work well wasn't because people didn't understand it, but because there was 
they're in a, in a place where people are resistant to the idea of basically they don't want any witnesses to certain kinds of ecological crimes happening there. Like people are poaching or dynamite fishing. Those are the only places we've had issues where people didn't want us to be there. Um, in general, people are open to the idea of what we're doing. risk our lives and go into financial ruin to do arts and education. We really didn't. Um, we're really doing this for the intangible effects, the unseen. The unseen.